Edward Gill. Um, I'm a professor of medicine in the Division of Cardiology at the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City and went on to do medical school at the University of Washington, Seattle. Was a resident at the University of Washington and a fellow at the University of Utah. And then was a faculty at the University of Colorado in Denver before coming to the University of Washington in 2001. So it was going to be Atlas of Three Dimensional Echo. Um, and uh, but we haven't really decided on the final title. So I'm going to say that it's going to be something like um, practical application of real-time three-dimensional echo. And there's going to be a major emphasis on three-dimensional transesophageal echo. So we were talking about integrating three-dimensional echo into the daily practice of a general clinical echo lab. And that's really, I guess, the message that I want to put home about the usefulness of this book is that there's going to be a chapter dedicated particularly to that purpose, but the entire rest of the book, I want the general practicing cardiologist to look at every chapter and say, how is this going to affect my life? How can I use it um, today to do this particular thing? And I'm really thinking that the average cardiologist is really going to be wowed by all of the illustrations that we've used, which are um, largely um, echocardiography images that we've taken from our echo lab um, back at Harborview Medical Center in Seattle, which is a very unique practice of cardiology because we really have um, very unusual cases there because of the population of patients that we serve, um, generally an underserved group, and so we have a lot of uh, disease states that you wouldn't see in a general hospital. The illustrations are really going to be the mainstay of the book, so um, you know I think again it's going to be useful for the everyday practicing cardiologist and uh, because of that uh, the illustrations are going to be the mainstay of the book um, and yes they will be available online. So all the still images will be in the book and then what we've tried to do in this particular book is to have a video image for every still image that we have. I wanted to emphasize the fact that uh, the one of the main roles uh, or one of the big roles of three-dimensional echo is in its use for treating patients with structural heart disease and in fact some of the interventions that we do um, that treat patients with structural heart disease particularly the uh, closure of paravalvular leaks um, really cannot be done without three-dimensional transesophageal echo so that was the one point I wanted to make um, the other point I wanted to make is that uh, three-dimensional echo really is going to become a hallmark as to whether your echo lab is meeting quality standards um, in terms of being a state-of-the-art echocardiography lab. And then the final thing I wanted to say is that uh, our book encompasses uh, really a global cardiology look because we have authors from not just all around the U.S. but uh, all around the world.